Hi everyone, welcome to another question and answer session. This is the physiology portion. A 53 years old cleaner is admitted with a fall. She is hemodynamically stable and a CT has shown a massive retroperitoneal hematoma. She is on warfarin. What is the most appropriate course of action? So a 53 years old cleaner and suddenly fall and hemodynamically stable but CT scan show massive retroperitoneal hematoma that means there is the hemorrhage but this patient is on warfarin so white warfarin is an anticoagulant so if it acts long time then bleeding will continue so we have to reverse the action of the warfarin and here the answer options options are infusion of factor 8 concentrate infusion of vitamin k alone infusion of a human prothrombin complex with vitamin k infusion of a human prothrombin complex alone and infusion infusion of packed red cell so for this condition first of all we have to know about the coagulation pathway so here we can see this is the coagulation pathway and the coagulation pathway it has two important pathway one is the intrinsic pathway another one is extrinsic pathway intrinsic pathway here we can see the it starts from the factor 12 factor 12 it is activated and then gradually different pathway goes and finally fibrin clot develop on the other hand the extrinsic pathway here we can see the extrinsic pathway and it starts from factor 7 and here we can see and finally it also produce the fibrin clot and this condition here we can see the warfarin warfarin reaction 2 7 9 10 here you can see 2 7 9 10 so warfarin action 2 7 9 and 10 so when the uh, patient on warfarin that means the 2 7 and 9 10 these four important coagulation factor not x and fibrin clot not formation and finally continuous bleeding occur so now we have to reverse the function of this four important anticoagulant agent so first of all here you can see this is the mechanical uh, mechanism of action of the warfarin warfarin it inhibits clotting factor 2 7 and 9 10 and this warfarin it acts by vitamin k antagonist that means vitamin k is very important for 2 7 9 10 action and what warfarin do warfarin inactivates this vitamin k so inactivates vitamin k also inactivates the 2 7 9 10 factor and how to monitor it is monitored by inr that means the warfarin it is monitored by the inr and it is reversal by the vitamin k here we can see the vitamin k so when vitamin k is antagonizing so we have to infuse more and more vitamin k then fresh frozen plasma and platelet concentrate and when we giving the fresh frozen plasma in the fresh frozen plasma there is a loss of the factor which is the 2719 different type of factor present in the fresh frozen plasma so we giving support vitamin k we giving fresh frozen plasma and we also giving platelet which is very important for the clot formation so in this pathway it is very easy to reverse the warfarin action and here we can see the warfarin it affects which pathway mainly intrinsic pathway 2 7 9 10 7 is only extrinsic and rest of the tree is intrinsic and common and here we can see the different hospital has the different protocol but among them the most hematologist they want human prothrombin complex with vitamin K and sometimes platelet concentrate so here we can see the our option as the patient is one warfarin so we when we want to reverse first of all human prothrombin complex and vitamin k actually the human prothrombin complex they are extract portion of the fresh frozen plasma that means the human prothrombin complex they are separated from the fresh frozen plasma and vitamin k so it is now our option that human prothrombin complex and vitamin k it used for reversal of action of the normal coagulation pathway by stopping the warfarin action thank you all.